Japan, the land of the rising sun, known for its freedom and prosperity. But did you know that Japan has a dark history? Did you know that Japan banned Christianity and brutally persecuted and slaughtered hundreds and thousands of Christians to halt the spread of the religion? The first contact between Japan and Christianity was in 1542, when a Portuguese ship carrying Jesuit missionaries landed on the island of Kyushu. The Jesuits, led by Francis Xavier, began to preach the gospel and convert the local population, especially the feudal lords or daimyo, who saw Christianity as a way to gain political and economic advantages. The Jesuits also introduced Western technology, such as firearms and printing, which impressed the Japanese. By the end of the 16th century, there were about 300,000 Christians in Japan, mostly concentrated in the south and west of the country. Some of the most prominent converts were Oda Nobunaga, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and Tokugawa Ieyasu, the three unifiers of Japan. However, not all of them were supportive of Christianity. While Nobunaga tolerated and even protected the Christians, Hideyoshi and Ieyasu became increasingly hostile and suspicious of them. The persecution of Christianity in Japan began in 1587 when Hideyoshi issued an edict banning the religion and expelling the missionaries. He feared that the Christians were loyal to foreign powers such as Spain and Portugal and that they would undermine his authority and stability. He also saw Christianity as incompatible with the Japanese culture and values such as loyalty to the Lord and ancestor worship. The edict was not strictly enforced at first, but it became more severe after the Shimabara Rebellion of 1637, which was a revolt of mostly Christian peasants against the oppressive policies of the local lords. The rebellion was crushed by the shogun Tokugawa Ieyasu, who then intensified his efforts to eradicate Christianity from Japan. He closed the country to foreign trade and influence, except for a limited contact with the Dutch and the Chinese. He also ordered the registration of all the Japanese people as Buddhists or Shintoists, and the inspection of their religious affiliation by using fumiye or brass images of Christ or Mary that they had to step on or spit on to prove their apostasy. The persecution of Christianity in Japan lasted for more than two centuries until it was lifted in 1873. During this time, thousands of Japanese Christians were tortured and killed for their faith, becoming known as the Martyrs of Japan. Some of the most famous martyrs were the 26 saints of Japan who were crucified in Nagasaki in 1597 and Paul Miki, a Japanese Jesuit who preached from the cross before he died. Despite the persecution, some Japanese Christians managed to survive and practice their faith in secret, hiding in remote villages or islands. They became known as the Hidden Christians or Kakure Kirishitan, which means hidden Christians in Japanese. They developed a unique form of Christianity that blended with the Japanese culture and traditions. They used Buddhist or Shinto terms and symbols to disguise their Christian beliefs and rituals. They also preserved their oral traditions and prayers, which were passed down from generation to generation. The hidden Christians lived in isolation and fear for over two centuries until they were discovered by the French priest Bernard Petitjean in 1865, who was amazed to find out that they had kept their faith alive without any contact with the outside world. He reported his discovery to the Vatican, which sent more missionaries to Japan to reconnect with the hidden Christians and to evangelize the country. The future of Christianity in Japan is uncertain, but not hopeless. According to the latest statistics, there are about 2 million Christians in Japan, which is less than 2% of the total population. 
the majority of them are Catholics followed by Protestants, Orthodox and others. The Christian churches in Japan face many challenges such as aging, declining and divided membership, lack of clergy and leadership and marginalization and irrelevance in the society. However, they also have many opportunities such as ecumenism, dialogue and cooperation with other religions, social justice and environmental issues and evangelization and mission to the younger generations. The Japanese Christians are a minority, but they are also a witness to the gospel and the love of God in a country that is mostly non-Christian. They have a rich and diverse history, culture and tradition that can enrich the global church and the world. They have a unique and valuable perspective and contribution to the Christian faith and life. They have a hope and a vision for the future of Christianity in Japan. That's all for today, folks. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing stories from history. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the history of Christianity in Japan. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.